When the dust settles from tonight's action, it will be Holland Patton's turn tomorrow. The Golden Knights are on a quest for their first sectional title since 1989. It's going to take all we got, but we're ready. Holland Patton is one win away from ending a nearly three decades long sectional title drought. It's an exciting feeling, of course. I mean, the community is definitely uh, surrounding us with a lot of support, and uh, everyone on the team is excited for this game because, you know, it's not every day you get to play in the Carrier Dome. So we're excited for our opportunity and to fulfill our goals. The Golden Knights have been dominant from the start, compiling a perfect 9 0 record to this point. It's crazy. I've never experienced anything like this in my whole football career, so it's exciting. Head coach Brian Briggs played on the 1989 championship team, and he's making sure to pull out all the stops. My old coach Dave Langone come last night to uh, practice, speak to the kids, uh, just giving some kids experience. You know, it's, it's one thing if you win a Section 3 title, but it's another thing if you lose a Section 3 title. So the biggest thing is, you know, just focus, 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 and be prepared to win. The only thing standing in the Golden Knights' way is General Brown. The two teams met last season with Holland Patton losing 54 to 21. It was our homecoming, and they came in and they, they embarrassed us on our home field. But last year's team and this year's team are totally different teams. The Golden Knights hope to prove that on Saturday afternoon with a victory. It would mean the world, honestly. Coming home, field hockey, soccer won. We just need to come through with our win now. Doing so would be a full circle moment for DJ Harder, whose father played in the Dome three times as a member of the Golden Knights in the 1980s. I've lived in Holland Patton my whole life, and just the culture of football is there, and he hasn't seen it in a while, and he's definitely proud to see his own son now do what he did and play in the Carrier Dome turf.